Hey, Etienne team, thanks for you know, taking your time out to come to Social Media NZ here to talk about your business, uh, which you guys create, created, which is called Ten. So, you know, I appreciate the time that you guys taking out from your you know, busy schedule. So before we get into um, the nitty gritty of what Ten is, um, you know, who, who are you guys? Like, what, what are your roles within Ten? I will start with you, Etienne. Hey, thanks, John, for having us here. So my name is Nand Prasad, and what I do in Ten is I ensure that a ten goes to market well okay. and it's executed well. Yeah. Hi John, yeah. um, my name is Hock and what I do in a ten is I make sure that the ideas are well kept together and also making sure that we're hitting the right target market. Yeah. I'm Akbar and I, I basically work with everyone and we all do similar roles. Yeah. I work, I particularly bring in a lot of event experience. I've gone for a lot of events and networking, so I, I bring in the people that uh, would, you know, how it would be relevant for that whole web experience and the graphics side and a bit of marketing as well. Yeah. I'm Sadat. Um, I'm pretty much the finance guy. Um, oh, so you, you make sure that make sure, make sure money comes in, you know where they're coming from and, oh, and where it goes exactly. up. Exactly. Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Cool. Um, so before we get into knowing what the event is, how, how did this group come together? Was it because of an idea or because you guys had the same, you know, what, how did it all start? Like, how did this group of you guys come together for a team? I think, Hawk, you should um, <laughs> yeah. sort of, uh, enlighten us on that. Well, I think, I think first of all, you know, you know, we're all business professionals and, yeah, sure. and a lot of us, you know, in the past, we, you know, we, we went for a lot of these business events, like seminars, conference, and things. Like that. And most of the time, you know, we heard of this through word of mouth. Sure. And and you know, just for myself, you know, I always like to develop myself further. And lately, I've been doing a lot of Google search for like you know events from the marketing industry, banking sure. industry. So specifically, like so specific specifically, yeah. events that are happening in your industry. Yeah. 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 And so it's it's quite. Hard actually, it's it's actually a big pain, yeah. and there's no you know a service or web platform out there that cool. actually deals with this issue, and so you know this sort of brings about you know an, an idea that oh cool maybe we could help you know the business community yeah. cool. and Absolutely. all the organisations yeah. so, to you know. Cool. To so you guys are all already friends. It's just right. because of this idea of going hey, there's nothing for us in this specific industry, and that's why we come together. Yeah, that's right. Things. We we realised that there was a need to create a single source of truth. Um, for professional and academic events um, for our target market, which is quite niche, which is business professionals and students. Cool. So, so yeah. in that case, that leads on to my next question. What is attend? Please, you know, someone... Well, see, the purpose yeah. of attend is yeah. to bridge the gap yeah. with those events of, that Hawk was just talking about yeah. to the to our target market. Well, exactly. And, you know, I mean, like, just, uh, just like... Hawk has started and so have all of us. So during lunch we realized we're all doing the same thing. We're Googling, uh, we're searching for events, but we can't find those relevant events to our industry. Sure. So we wanted to break that culture. You know, we were depending on emails or word of mouth, yeah, yeah, but we yeah. wanted to change yeah. that. So by by allowing that pla uh, by creating that platform, we were a we want to be able to create a bit more transparency and uh, yeah. what what kind so of events are happening in our industry. When you're talking about platform, it's a uh, web Absolutely. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So it's yeah, going to yeah. be a web platform uh, yeah. that allows you to search for all events that are happening in New Zealand, specifically for your industry that's as true. well. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So a ten sounds like a you know a, an amazing concept from what you guys have told me. Um, how is this you know especially to you, Sana? I just would love to hear your thoughts. How is this being funded at the moment? Uh, um, it's pretty much being self-funded right now. Okay. Um, it's from uh, the cash that we've saved up. Cool. So. Awesome. So, are you guys open to to you know open to opportunities for um, investors to come in and you know for that to to fund your project to get it to where it needs to be? Oh, definitely. Um, to reach our goal, um, we would be very um, welcome to um, you know get more investment on board. So, so it's definitely yeah. Key. So it's a definitely it's definitely keen for that. Awesome. Now that's great to know, guys. So the other thing is, uh, it sounds like a real amazing idea um, at the moment. What stages are you guys in at the moment? Are you guys, you know, are you guys about ready to launch or? Well, see, if we talk about stages, initially, you know, to uh, validate this idea, we actually did a business survey to professionals and asking sure. them questions. So you did so your market research? Yeah, did our, we did our market research oh, okay. and we found there was a lot of value in actually going ahead with this idea. Yeah. And we started working on the web platform and, you know, we're slowly building the web platform. And recently we launched our Twitter account uh, to get some, you know, feedback and we started tweeting other people's events and started promoting them and targeting 
events to professionals and and people were asking questions like hey where where is this event going to be what's going to be happening and we we're like okay let's redirect you back to the organizers cool. and you know HR uh, HR people were asking us hey look um, how can I find out more about this event so we started redirecting we became the peop the source of information about mm. these events yes and we felt like okay you know we have a lot more to offer and people were asking us questions about yeah. can you tell us about a certain industry and where is that event happening? You awesome. Know? So what sort of people would find, like I know you talk about marketing people, find this as an amazing tool for yep. finding social media events to marketing events to yep. you know, leadership events. So who would, from a business pr perspective, who would list with you guys? Like what, I what is your idea, I, I, uh, you know, I do, sorry, um, I do clients and also with user-wise as well, yeah. who do you see as those people that would go, that is the site for that specific reason? Well, see, there are lots of companies in New Zealand that are hosting events right now. Yeah. Right now, they're hosting it on their own website. They're hosting it indirectly as well. Mm -hmm. And you, got, you know, we've seen that happen before. Exactly. And you know, we're talking about small companies, large companies like KPMG. It could be small companies, small businesses as well. Um, and it could be individuals hosting their own events, webinars even. Exactly. Nitin is totally right on that. I think you know one of the major issues that we're currently facing is that everyone's trying to affiliate themselves to different associations. And let's take, for example, marketing. They might have five, six different associations. There might be a hundred PR companies, and they're all hosting their own events. Sure. And the only way you could find out about that it's event is, exactly, yeah. or you surf their website. But we want to be able to collate, you know, it's a common, in, a common so set of information. So you're aggregating events. That's, 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 that's exactly much. right. Exactly and so, so what it is is that, um, sorry to interrupt, was, sorry. what it is is that we've got a 10. We've actually got the slogan, Inquire, Engage, Empower. Yeah. Yeah. And right now we're, we're focusing on Inquire, which is finding out about events and for uh, organizers to actually promote these events. Yes. We've got a bigger vision to expand that to engage in empowering people. You know, white papers, resources, and actually exactly. doing the whole networking. I guess also the engaging side of things happen once these people, I mean, once our, our fellow mates will start going to these events. That's right. And mm. that engaging process will start, That's and you'll right. start realizing the value of being able to choose your own events that you want to go to, exactly. rather than going, depending on a particular association for that information. Awesome. Yeah, like from my personal experience, that when I want to know a specific social media yeah. event or marketing conference, you know, I have to either hear from workmates or, that's right. or either email, email. Or, or suddenly there's a poster that's around town saying, hey, come to this. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's like you said, it's at the moment, there's no centralized place for specific. And if, you, and if you think about that, there's a lot of time and money being spent yeah. to advertise an event in all these various places. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to do is create this brand and a platform where they can go straight to the source yeah. and it'll be the single source of truth of, for all these events. Cool. So that just cuts off all these, you know, it cuts expenses and you can just go directly into our website, our web platform. Awesome. So, um, and sorry, just one more thing yeah. I want to add is that we, yeah. it's, we're just not stopping you know, at the point where we're aggregating events. So at, at 10 is just not about aggregating events. Yeah. It's, it's more than that, you know, once we have events on the website, you, you can see, you know, it gives the motivation yeah. to go to the event. We have a lot of features on the website that, that drives that motivation, like, you know, push people yeah. to go and to attend an event. Yeah. Through those surveys, yeah. we realized that people want just, you know, more than events. Yeah. And there's been a common uh, theme as well, that, you know, certain particular features that they want. But we intend to take them out when it's relevant. Right now, yeah. the core source is that they want events. Yeah. They want to know more about them. Cool. So do you guys see this as an opportunity? Because I'm, you know, I love my, my, I, I love, you know, because being from a background where yeah, um, when I came out of college and, or university, whatever how yeah. you want to call it, you know, there wa wasn't a event where I can make sure I network with people. That's potential, right. Potential, yes. you right. know, potential. Basically what you're saying is for place. students. Yeah. For yeah. students, yeah. you know, to, to yeah. find that perfect exactly. workplace. So do you see this for, for as a, the ability to let students know that they uh, can go, you know. Absolutely. So a, they're part of our yeah. mar target market and we advocate attend for them because not only are they going to go to the right events, but then it might spark off opportunities to create, uh, to get jobs, yeah. um, you it's know, awesome. opportunities to network, Definitely. opportunities to learn, yeah. opportunities to empower. Yeah. Awesome. So, so do you see yourself kind of aligning yourself, you know, potential partners, as you say, like your AUT or Auckland Uni, to yeah. say, hey, 
you know, these are the events that potentially be useful for your business students, for your marketing students, or for your science students. Absolutely. You know? uh, from a from a university perspective, yeah. uh, AUT, you know, I've, I've been talking to them quite a bit. Yeah. And um, a lot of the, you know, uh, different faculties have actually been talking about finding out more about these events. And, okay. you know, mm -hmm. during strategic planning, they're saying that there's that divide between all these faculties, and we need to know about events. And the only way mm -hmm. to address concerns in our, in our country is by finding about What's happening? And finding a exactly. place where the aggregation. You can you can see John how we're solving all these pains and problems already. That's, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, no, it, it shows that you know you guys are not only catering to the business community where basically we need a place for 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 events that cater to the business community, but yes. also for students that yeah. will come to the events like that. That's right. Hopefully, we'll find a job and that's right. a network of people think before they even right. get out yeah, to the That's right. Think you got it. one thing that we need, need to understand is that um, at the end of the day. Students, you know, tertiary students, um, they are the future business professionals. Yeah. So you know, they were bound to go to events like this as well. In the so it's good to educate them, you know, early That's on. That's right. Well. Hawk is right. We need to be able to give them the choice mm. to find out which kind of information they want, and that's what Google has done. Yeah. We want to be able to do that through events. So the question that I'm going to ask you now, and probably you know, our audience will probably ask in the comment section is. Event finder, the, you know, because that's the first thing that people will think that oh, what you guys are doing is the same as event finder. But you know, do you guys see them as competition, or is there a way that you guys can complement each other? Oh, you know, John, a very good question, and you know, many people have asked us this. Yeah. You see, um, we don't see them as competition at all. We see them as people who have inspired us to be able to give um, people the the right experience about events. Um, we had the opportunity to meet up with uh, one of um, w one of the people from uh, Event Finder, and they actually said that, you know, it's great what you guys are doing. You all should focus on it and continue doing it because you all are working in a particular industry. Now, Event Finder also knows, and and we all understand that Event Finder is in the areas of arts, theatre, entertainment, sports, um, and we are all about industries and educational events. It's a different experience, and it's just like you know, people would say Facebook events. It's it's a social and you know it's 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 a very different experience that you're looking through events. What I'm trying to get to is that we don't see them as competition, but we see them as um, a, a Kiwi company that has been really successful in their their way to be able to communicate about events that are happening in New Zealand. And awesome. someone who's inspired us. Absolutely, absolutely, they've absolutely. Been inspired us. Awesome. So so now you know I know that you guys are working on your website. So mm. what? Just give an idea of what it will look like when, you know, just a, a visual idea of what it will look like when, you know, when people get to that point and go, oh, this is the Attend website. Yeah, well, uh, Attend, uh, you know, it's got a really nice and simple design behind it, yeah. but enough to actually, so you can find events on there and it, for your industry, and you can start searching for events, you can start finding out more about and an event. businesses can already log in to register the events. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, yeah. and we well, are more than happy Those features will be coming. Okay. Um, cool. We're still working on awesome. it. So then, in the few in the next coming months, we you know that that will be the possibility of an organizer being able to create their own event and pr and promote it to the right audience. So at the, at this point in time, it's you collecting those uh, information. That's right. On the exactly. Side That's right. People for yeah. for users to come and go. That's right. For our target market, so, professionals so and students. Far, so far, what's happened is that a lot of businesses have come to us and yes. said, "Can you help us post up these events?" So yes, uh, that we are going to launch the, the user-centered center, uh, experience. Yeah. Right now what we're doing is we're collating that information from businesses okay. and putting it up for that's them. Right. Cool, awesome. That's, yeah. that's, that's exciting, guys. Um, so the social media components. Yes. Um, so if I'm a user and I want to share this, uh, it's what, what is the social media components uh, part of your website, yeah. uh, which I'm, I'm interested okay. to hear from you guys. Well, we've launched a Twitter account. Yeah. Um, so that's one where, where you can actually share your events with us. Okay. That's one, that's so, if, for example, social media NZ has an event. Um, we we come to you and say, hey, just this is tweet the event, um, oh, yes. and okay. we'll we'll fold that on and we'll target it to the right people and we'll okay. get people attending your event. Okay. And then eventually in the future, in the next coming months, you can go on our web platform and create your own event, create an account, hmm. promote that uh, event and the event details on there. But right now, just want to add to that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, let's take for example the Ice Ideas conference that happened yes, yes, uh, right. yesterday. Yeah. Um, what we did was uh, using social media components that we already have. Yeah. We used Twitter and we, we actually tweeted about these events. We yeah. went and so we want to be able to go to more events like these sure. to be able to give uh, people who have missed out on the opportunity yeah. to understand what value these events have. Awesome. Um, yeah. Cool. So, you know, you guys have been giving me quite a lot of information about what, you know, what I can personally 
see a ten do in this marketplace sure. and all that. So, so what is something in the next couple of months time is something we as users, potential users, and so businesses expect from a ten website or, or what, what? What what can we see? Well, a yeah, a launch of our web platform. Okay, and is there a date? that yet or is this still kind of under wraps at the moment? It's under wraps at okay. the moment. It's coming. Uh, it'll be very soon and we'll be doing a you know public launch on, on Twitter and we'll let the people know. Okay. Cool. So that's A, um, our web platform mm -hmm. and B, we will be uh, venturing out into other social uh, platforms like it could be LinkedIn, it yeah. could be other platforms yep. um, cool. and I think those are the main ways at the moment. But so far, um, from Twitter, we can see that a lot of people have understood the value of it, and yes. it's just great to see that um, we're bringing people together oh, through awesome. events. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. So, so you know that, that comes to almost the end of the uh, video. So you know, thank you so much for your time. You know, I know you guys are really busy. No man. <laughs> but um, so but if people are interested in wanting to know more about you guys, uh, how can they basically get in touch with you guys? So, yeah, well, they can. Yeah, I mean, like the Twitter account is quite open, and we're yeah. here to help. Yeah. So follow us on Twitter. Uh, direct messages if you've got an event. Yeah. Direct messages. Tweet us about it. Cool. Look out for attend.co.nz. It'll be coming out soon. And um, if you send us a tweet or if you direct messages, we'll keep in touch we with you. You can also email us. Yeah. Ah, cool. I was thinking that yeah. most people yeah. won't have Twitter, but they love the good we, old email. Our email, our email address email. is a bit funny. We actually came up with it while having lunch, but it was yeah. let's talk. Let's talk at attend.co.nz exactly. and um, we'd like to know more about your events yeah. if you have any. So if you're, if you're a business organization, small business, if you've got some events, send us an email yeah. with your events, we'll, we'll put them True, up on so our and site. If you've got any feedbacks, you know, or what, you, what kind of features or things that would help improve your event experience, just, just, just let us know. Us we're here to help, something. we're, we're awesome. here to create value. The only way we're going to find out about the value of this is from feedback, feedback. and from your events. So, yeah. awesome. Well, thank you for your time, guys. Thanks, John. Um, thank thanks, for, John. Thanks for it's being great. the first uh, um, business slash company slash, you know, hopefully you guys will be great in this space. To be part of the first spotlight, hopefully you guys can look back and then kind of go, oh, you know, that's where we started. <laughs> so thank you, guys, and appreciate your time. Hey, thanks, John. Thank, thank you John. very much. Thanks, John.